Good afternoon, Cigar View 83, the Alec Bradley Max. Uh, now, I'm not going to really be smoking this cigar a lot because it's pretty much unsmokable. Uh, I've now tried two of these. I, I'm so incredibly disappointed in this cigar. I'm a huge Alec Bradley fan. When I initially started smoking cigars, they were one of my top few favorites. I would have said probably Alec Bradley and, at the time, Gurkha were my favorite two cigar brands out there. This is just an incredibly disappointing cigar. It's an interesting concept. So, fast fact, six inch, 54 ring gauge, Honduran made, and they did this kind of five country blend of Colombia, Nicaragua, Mexico, um, and Honduras with a Costa Rican wrapper, of course, made in Honduras. Interesting concept. In fact, you know, they, they said, this is, this is kind of a brave move we tried something different here, and in my opinion, I smoked two. I haven't smoked 20, I haven't smoked 40, I haven't smoked 100. Maybe I got the bad two out of 100, but both of the ones that I've smoked, um, they, they don't draw. Like, that's sucking as hard as I can, and I just had to relight it. I smoke cigars like crazy, I mean, like fast. I never have to relight cigars. I never have cigars go out. I've relit this stupid thing four times. As I'm trying to review it and smoke it, uh, it is the most tightly packed cigar that I have ever smoked. Um, now, occasionally I was able to get some flavors out of it. I got a little bit of chocolate, almost earth. There, there weren't bad notes to it. It actually, when you were able to get some smoke, had some good taste, but it, the thing won't burn. It, it's so tightly packed that it's unsmokable. I mean, it, it's taken me forever to smoke it down as far as I have. And it's really disappointing. Like I said, I love Alec Bradley. I bought it in their like Sampler of the World pack, and I had another one as well. And all the other ones I smoked were fantastic. Again, I love the brand, uh, and maybe they just had some inconsistencies that, that happened. But there's no way that I could possibly recommend a cigar that won't even burn. Uh, there are cigars like the Ramon Buesos, the any of the knockoff ones, even the Gurkha Sherpa, the one that's so bad. I could give that to someone that I had over that didn't know anything about cigars, and they would actually probably think, oh, this is, this is decent, this is fine. Anyone that had never smoked before would know that Alec Bradley was bad because they couldn't even get anything out of it. Um, so that that's it, guys. Cigar Review 83. That is the Alec Bradley Max. And we call that one the culture against 6 inch 54 ring gauge. Uh, in my opinion, it's, it's unsmokable. Now, I've seen a bunch of really good reviews of it. So apparently, this is a problem that you know, seems unique to the two that I had. But I call it how I see it. I have limited exposure, and I'm going to base it off the ones that I had. Uh, so it is... It is the most disappointing cigar I've had, probably in the last, you know, 100 reviews uh, that I've done. So, that's it. Cigar View 83, the Alec Bradley Max. Do not buy.